Hey there, Munchie Mafia. So today we're doing our pre-live prep for our sweet and sour shrimp tonight. That's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what I have is a whole bunch of ingredients. We'll start with our broccoli first because I want to get all the all the veggies all cut up and stuff. So, um, I'm just cooking enough for two people today, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that, and then we're going to cut these pieces into smaller pieces because we don't want big chunks of broccoli. Whoopsie. Been horribly busy lately with the job and stuff, so going live has been a little bit of an issue because um, I don't normally get home until 7 p.m. Um, Pacific time, which is way late. I don't think anybody wants to watch Cooking Channel that time of the night, especially if you want to cook along with me. So. The reason why we broke this up into, into two parts is so that it gave everybody the opportunity to get all their prep done in case they would like to cook along. I posted the grocery list in the community tab, and that's that's where we're going to put it uh, from now on, is just to make sure that everybody can you know, have enough time to the store go and buy their ingredients and get all their stuff ready so yeah I like broccoli I like broccoli a lot so we're going to put that's about a pound of broccoli then we're gonna have three pieces of celery they've been washed already now what I like to do is I like to just take the peeler and yes I'm in my pajamas it's it's a Sunday and it's kind of kind of rainy here in western Washington. Just didn't really feel like changing clothes today. Besides this is just pre prep stuff for the live tonight. I like to get rid of this stuff because it causes stringy things to get stuck in your teeth. And um if you plan to make any vegetable stock or chicken stock or anything like that, you can definitely put this part as well as any scrap from your celery right into the pot. But I'm not making chicken stock or vegetable stock or any kind of stock for that matter. So I'm just going to toss it out. You can also just toss it into a big Ziploc bag. But if you're like me, that, oh yeah, I'm going to make stock, I'm going to make a nice beautiful soup, and you end up with 50 gazillion bags in your freezer, and you're like, God dang, what the hell was I thinking? Um, you might want to just reconsider that, because I get busy. So, what we're going to do is, let me see if I can move some stuff around a little bit here, because I'm using my, my little my little camera instead of the big cameras. Um, the reason being is because I like to be able to just go ahead and just do my do my stuff and not involve Timmy and all the angles. Because this is just a basic quick video to show you how to get all the prep done before the live. So I like to cut my celery on the bias. I like to go fairly thin. Um, but not too thin that they end up getting all, all mushy during the, during the cook. So, celery. There we go. Alright, now we're going to go to the carrots. 
I like to add color. Now, just because I'm using carrots and celery and broccoli doesn't necessarily mean that you have to also. Um, that's why I put on the thing, you know, use whatever vegetables, you know, whatever kind of stir fry type vegetables you'd like. Some people like this, some people like that, some people don't like this and that, um, which is perfectly fine. So it's your food. So pick a vegetable or a bunch of vegetables or, or what have you. This is an awesome pescatarian dish. I haven't made this in a while, but I used to make it quite frequently. All right. Those can easily be used in the scrap. Um, for stock. So I like to go, unlike the last one where I made little matchsticks, also known as baton or batonne, depending on how thick you wanted them. Um, I like to go on the bias with this because I like to see a lot of different shapes and different colors in my food. Also, one other thing that you can use, which I think is kind of funny, because um, I used to do roasted radishes at my last place. I used to add radishes to um, the roasted vegetable medley that I used to do. And they're like, we didn't know you can actually eat radishes cooked like that. That was just very interesting. So, yeah, if you want to add a little bit of red, try And you don't want to just go with a bell pepper. Try that. Um, you know, just quarter up some some small regular radishes. Okay, so this is leftover onion from something else. I don't. I usually love a lot of onion, but um, I'm not going to go too heavy with the onion. This is like half of a medium onion, and this is the bottom, and this is the top. So I like to. I like to um, do a julienne like that instead of going the other way. Um, I like things to be at least somewhat visually interesting. So we're going to throw that in there as well. I don't know what the hell is going on with uh, Asian condiments lately, but I've been having problems finding sambal. And now apparently, uh, I don't know if grocery stores are just being pain in the asses, but uh, you know, Mayploy is hard to find around here. Um, so I might have to go down to H Mart. Let's see if I can find it down there. Lodge Meyer or something. So here's my green onion, or my green bell pepper. I like to get rid of this, this light colored white part. I just don't like it in my stuff. So there we go. And please note, no bell pepper seeds. Okay, so cut them into quarters and it slipped on me. Well, at least I didn't take my finger off. So story time today is I was going to do a vlog, but uh, Andy and Derek and Alfred are out um, this weekend doing uh, Ellen Joe. Uh, they're doing a shrimp competition, and I didn't want to have to you know, throw something up live while we were doing that. Let them have their let them have their fun. That way, you know, some of the viewers that we or some of the subs that we share um, don't have to feel like you know they have to choose. Um, so it's just easier to. So story time is going to be um, the vlog. Okay, so I really love shiitake mushrooms. Again, I just take the stems off because most of the time they're really, 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 really woody. And I asked Timmy to get a, hand, a handful of uh, shiitake mushrooms. He doesn't like shiitakes, so I get to have all of them to myself. 
personally, I would have bought more, but that's okay. Um, because beggars can't be choosers. Um, he went to the store for me yesterday. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any, um, any buttermilk, apparently. So, I have to go back. To, I have to go out to the store tomorrow, but I have to go to the store anyway, so... Um, I will go to a different store and see if I can find buttermilk for the Monday one because we're going to be doing some biscuits and gravy and we're going to be making biscuits from scratch. Hey! Hey! Hey you! So our little Hellion is 11 weeks old, 12 weeks old, 11 or 12 weeks old is just causing, causing quite the stir. Okay, so next it's going to be the, the garnish, and the garnish is going to be the green, green onions. Now, I don't like all the whites in mine, so I'm just going to take those out, throw those off to the side. Um, I'm going to save those aside for the sauce. Okay, so, uh, nice long, long bias. Cut. You can do a vice cut however, however way you want. Oops. Oh. Or however, however small you want. I like to have a medium sized bias cut on my green onions. I'm going to stick that right there in this container. Hi! Don't eat the cords. Our little, our little Italian Cindy is really starting to show our personality quite a lot. Her personality is, I'm going to bite everything and anything humanly possible. She wanted anything and everything humanly possible. Anyway, I woke up about 3 in the morning, the other morning. I um, was wearing a sweatshirt, and pajama bottoms to bed. I wasn't naked or anything like that. Um, and she somehow managed to find underneath a sheet, a comforter, and a blanket. Whoops. Um, I think I need to show up in my knife. Uh, my nipple. And she latched onto that thing and bit it like, oh god. I'm so afraid that I might have washed her off the bed or something. Okay, so always use a sharp knife when you're dealing with brain onions. All right, so now we're done with that. So what we're going to do with these is now we're going to make the sauce. We're going to take the green onion um, whites with a little bit of the greens, and we're going to dump it into the food processor. I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't need this anymore. I don't know if you can see the little, the little chicken nugget. She's standing in the kitchen. At least she's not causing trouble. Okay, so the remainder of the green onions. Oh crap, I did leave that cutting board. I lied. I'm a liar. Okay, so um, I'll just go over there real quick. Um, now, you can use lime juice or you can use a, a, a fresh lime. Um, God, these limes are shit. Um, not Timmy's fault. He doesn't know better. Um, so we're going to then take cilantro. You can use however much you want, however, however little you want. It's just entirely up to you. Um, I like a fairly decent amount. We're going to take it, stems and all. We're going to put the cilantro in there. We're going to save some out for garnish, though, along with the green onion. So... There we go. Now we got that. And then we are going to take soy sauce. I usually put about a half cup. We're going to put a quarter cup of raw unfiltered honey. Um, if you like fish sauce, you can put however much or however little you want. Um, and also the other thing that I usually use in this, but Timmy doesn't like spicy foods much, 
is um, fresh jalapeno. So I put in about three fresh jalapenos. I just I just quarter them. Um, and just throw them in because this is all going to get blended. So now next we're going to do however much or however little garlic you want to use. Um, so there's that. And then we are going to see we got the fish sauce. That that oh, where did I put it? Oh now the sour part is going to come from the rice vinegar. So we're gonna put a half cup of rice vinegar in there. Because that's where the sour is gonna come from. Now we might need to adjust later, so, but yay, I've got it. Okay, so next, move that out of the way, is uh, Mayploy, or sweet chili sauce. I could not find Mayploy. Um, why does that one say Panda Express on it? Oh my God, why? Oh, okay, so he didn't know any better. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> The, one of the bad things about living out in the middle of nowhere is that you can't always find the ingredients that you want. Um, so hopefully this is as authentic as the other one. Oh, God, it smells weird. Um, now the reason why I like to use the... Um, use a mini ploy is that it has fewer ingredients than some of these other ones. Um, so be careful because some of them actually contain high fructose corn syrup. This one does not. This one also does not. Uh, okay, so sweet chili sauce times two. Um, about 30 something odd ounces and one of the things you can also do is put a smidge of sriracha I like just a smidge of sriracha unopened bottled sriracha okay. so you know I don't want to put too much because Timmy will Timmy will get upset okay because he's not fond of them. I did finally when when I was making when we were making the other one. Remember how I lost my jar of uh, my jar of the sambal substitute? Meow. Well, I found it. Oh yeah, meow, meow. meow. There's Winnie, voicing his opinion. Okay, I like to put a few dashes of sesame oil in mine. Anyway, I found my sambal substitute, but then I, I, I lost it um, again. So it turned out that it was in a bag that was supposed to just be. That wasn't actually the cat. That was the parrot. And he just has this thing about meowing like the cat. Okay, so anyway, sambal's missing again. Um, I like to buy these gourmet garden pastes. Um, they're usually in the produce section, refrigerator case. This is Thai basil. Um, usually two tablespoons. The reason why I like these is because I'm only cooking for two people. Um, I can just pitch them in the freezer and then just grab them when I need them because they, they defrost really quickly. Uh, this is lemongrass. This is also another stir and paste. It's, uh, like that. And we're just going to put a little bit. Like, that's about a tablespoon right there. And then the reason why you don't want to go too heavy on this is because then it starts to smell like a citronella candle. Um, ginger paste. Um, just because I wanted to be in a hurry. Um, and show you this product. Because... If you don't want to deal with the garlic, or they also have garlic too, but if you don't want to deal with having to peel ginger, 
and then and then chop it all up because um, remember the last time I said that ginger has a tendency to have these little furry things in it um, because it's very it has a lot of uh, uh, what's the word I'm losing my words today um, fibrous yeah that's it um, this stuff it works great because that way you don't have to deck around with all that nonsense. And then again, you just grab your tubes and just put them in the freezer until you need them again. Um, I also I always have like tons of these things floating around in my freezer. Um, the Italian seasoning was really good too. Okay, so now we got everything here. Um, now we're going to give it a whizzy nose. Um, this is going to get noisy. Yes, Cindy is voicing her opinion. I don't know why. But she, oh, wait, I forgot. No, another thing. Okay, so lemon squizzy. We got limes. I, I'm going to do the juice of two limes. So just squeeze that butter in there. Actually, I'm probably going to just do uh, three halves. And the reason why is because I think I might want one. One of the one of the halves is a uh, as a side garnish, but this is also where some of the sour is going to come from. Wow! Now watch, I'm gonna break this thing. That's okay, cause I I I learned my lesson. Um, and I bought like four of them. Um, and sometimes I'll be in a hurry and I'll just grab it and. And go squizzy, 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 and next thing I know, it's like the handles breaking off. Um, these things are not made all that great. Um, best place to get these is at a restaurant supply store. Um, this one here actually came from Walmart, and this is like um, these are the ones that I always tend to break and I end up with a piece of pot metal sticking in my hand. Um, so get the ones at the restaurant supply um, or or at like Total Wine um, over in their uh, bartending equipment section. Those are always, they always have really good quality stuff over there. Uh, the ones at Walmart, I always break them. Um, so anyway, here we go. Now we're going to turn this on. Let's see here. Let's hit the right button. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so now we're going to give it a tasty taste because I always have a tendency to not put enough something in it. Uh, like, I don't know, fish sauce. I really love the taste of fish sauce. So. Oh my god, that's so good. Alright, so this is the base sauce. And when I say base sauce, there's other stuff that's going to go into this. Um, so... I'm just going to set that aside. Um, this base sauce is great for other things. Uh, chicken wings. Um, wow, it's got a lot of flavor. Chicken wings. Uh, it's great as a pizza sauce as well. And um, you can do just about anything. You can also use it as a salad dressing. Um, it's great as a Thai chicken salad dressing. Um you know, throw some uh, green, green mango and green papaya that's been uh, cut into little batons, and you're good to go. Okay, so um, we're also going to want to put our pineapple in there, and um, I usually like to buy these things whole and slice them myself, but that's okay, because it is what it is. Oh my god, I love those things. Um, so that's it. That's it for now.
because there's some other steps that's going to turn this base sauce into some absolute deliciousness. But I'll save that for later. So, Munchie Mafia, I will see you here. Hey, stop touching my butt, Winnie. Um, I'll see you at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you later.